good morning and happy there was something there sorry uh what wednesday is it wednesday i think it's wednesday happy wednesday morning um packing lunch i've got my aminos made i'm off to the gym i'm running late it is almost quarter till six um so i've got leftover broccoli from last night some more cheese and a lone chicken breast that i found in the fridge. It's probably too old to eat, but I'm going to eat it anyway because I found it and it's easy. And uh, let's hope, let's hope I don't get food poisoning. Okay? Um, yeah. That's all I got for this morning. And I'm off to the gym to kill it. I think I'm going to do elliptical today instead of the arc trainer uh, so I think yeah I don't know we'll see when we get there okay bye guys so I don't know how well you guys can see it but this semi has been stuck since I got here this morning so that's one entrance you come down this ramp to get to the gym and if you see where those um, cones are over there, that's another entrance, but that's been blocked off for a while because they're doing construction by the mall. So this truck has been basically blocking the entrance to the gym since six o'clock in the morning. Now, some people, watch this guy, he's gonna try to get around it. Um, oh, no, it changed the sign. Some people have been trying to go up the ramp with this truck and this tow truck like stuck there, but he's clear over into the grass. I don't know how he thought that he was going to get up that ramp, but it's kind of hilarious. However, there is a back way that I know, but not everyone might know the back way. I hope this is recording. I think it is. Anyway, so there's a back way to get behind uh, the gym to get into the parking lot. And I'm glad I know that way because I would have been like, I don't know how else to get there um, when I got here at 6 and like started to turn down. They have cones up now. They didn't this morning. It was just that guy in his semi like sitting there being stuck. So that was my excitement this morning. Um, I'm not really giving a crap what I look like today. I'm wearing a hoodie. It's supposed to be the coldest day of the week. I think it's supposed to be 38. It was like 58 yesterday. I hate these like crazy changes in temperature. Um, I'm not fixing my hair. I like half through one makeup and I'm getting out of here because it's 8 o'clock. Get my coffee and going to work. And it's hump day so that's exciting. Oh, so that's what I wanted to talk about too. Ah, not humping. Um, my steps are better today. I did elliptical, but I only did 20 minutes because of the um, what time I got here. So elliptical for 20 minutes, and I've got like 4,000 steps right now. So 4,779 steps. So I'm pretty happy with that. Again, on the treadmill, it would usually be 600. So um, or 6,000. Everybody is like fascinated with this truck. There's people taking pictures. It's funny. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, so elliptical better than the arc trainer for steps, but my leg feels way, way better. So doing abs and I have to do leg lifts and that's where it really, really hurt on Monday. That's what I knew, like it, there was something definitely wrong. Um, so I did leg lifts again today and it, it felt a lot better. So I think Tomorrow's my rest day anyway. I think Friday I'll be able to go back to running. Um, which is, guys, I want to run. What's wrong with me? Oh my goodness. Okay. So that's all I got for now. I'm getting my coffee and going to work. And I will talk to you guys later. I am leaving work. If I haven't told you guys, uh, so in the plaza where I work, there is a Domino's Pizza. It's Wednesday. If you guys didn't know that they have a special on Wednesday where it's like $3.99 or something dirt cheap for a medium. And like you walk out of work and that smell just hits you in the face and it smells so freaking good. Um, making me hungry. Like hungry, hungry. 
Uh, but lunch was really good. I don't know what's for dinner. Lettuce. Just lettuce. Because my weigh-in is tomorrow. No, not really. Um, I don't know. We'll see when I get home. Oh, my husband was making pork chops last. He had some out to defrost. So maybe pork chops tonight. I'm okay with that. Uh, Domino's would be better, though. It would be better. I'll talk to you guys when I get home. In my after work snack, my husband made me a fried bologna sandwich. Good evening. It is almost 9.30. Um, I got caught up watching my 600 pound life. Uh, I have a problem with that show. I don't know what it is. I just, I love it. And it's like a very strange love-hate relationship because I get mad at these people. Um, but at the same time, like I envy them for their eating habits because they eat whatever they want. That's horrible, isn't it? Uh, anyway, so I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, dinner, I didn't film dinner, but I showed you. So those little pork chops, they're super thin. Um, I did have two of them and I had a fourth cup of uh, this garlic parmesan rice that my husband made that was really, really good. Um, so I'm not too worried. Like I said, I'm not going to worry as much about carbs, but a fourth a cup is going to hardly do anything. Um, what I really enjoyed was that bologna sandwich. Sandwich. Uh, it was just two fried pieces of bologna with a piece of cheese in the middle. I don't know if everyone uh, is big on fried bologna or if that's maybe more of a regional thing. I don't know. Uh, I grew up on bologna sandwiches. Um, we didn't have a whole lot of money growing up and it's probably one of the reasons that I'm such a picky eater as an adult, but I, most of my childhood, I survived on bologna sandwiches and a lot of junk food. Tells you something, doesn't it? Um, because I've been overweight my entire life, uh, like since five years old at least. That's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video probably someday. Um, but the bologna sandwich was really good and bologna has one gram of carbs gram of carb in it so yeah feeling pretty good about dinner and overall my choices and I wasn't very snacky like usually when I'm watching TV I I get that urge like the late night snacking urge and I didn't have that tonight which was uh, out of the norm for me to not even be thinking about like what's what's in the kitchen or what my time frame is to eat or anything like that so I'm proud of that overall. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Um, yeah. Oh, that was the other thing so I wanted to mention. Um, I found a Weight Watcher weekly book. Not the weekly. Those were those little magazines. Um, I found a Weight Watcher weight tracker book uh, from last year. And it was. It started there like 16 week books. Um, and it started the end of February. And it went to the end of June. And I was the same weight then as I am now. Um, which is sad because the 30 pounds that I have lost so far this year, like 35 almost, that I've lost this year is actually what I put on after I quit Weight Watchers. So when I quit Weight Watchers, I quit everything. I just quit. Um, and then the holidays came and I just went nuts. So it's, it's sad at the same time that I'm like just now where I was a year ago because I feel like it's just been nothing. But at the same time, like I'm really excited to move forward and see the lower number than what's in that book. Um, I just think that's really going to be a, a push for me. Um, also, the other thing that I wanted to mention, okay, so the weight at the end of January end of February and the weight at the end of June, uh, there was a six pound difference between those two weights. So, so I lost six pounds in four months. It took me four months to lose six pounds. And it wasn't just a straight decline. Like there was one week that I went up like three pounds and there was one week that I went down 0.8 pounds. Like it, I was so all over the place with Weight Watchers and the program works 
it's a great program if you do it correctly and you are a diehard and you're so serious and you stay focused for like a ridiculous uh, amount of time. And it is slow progress, but it is progress if you just keep with it. The problem was I wasn't doing it right. So it didn't work for me and I didn't know why. Why wasn't it working? I don't know because I was barely, I tracked like two days a week. Oh my goodness. It's just the, the change between then and now is absolutely insane. Insane. And so far this year, I mean, this is March 22nd. So far this year, there's not been one day that I haven't tracked my food. Even if it was like my really bad day. Yes, you guys, when I had CeCe's Pizza Buffet, I was tracking it. I looked up CeCe's in my fitness pal. I was, I was putting in what I, what I ate. Um, I tracked it. It was a shit ton of calories, <laughs> but I tracked it. And that's so important. I don't know if everyone that's on a weight loss journey like tracks their food, but it is, for me anyway, it is key, absolutely key. Um, even to watch those calories be way too high. So, I don't know, I just wanted to share that tidbit with you. Um, I know some of the some of the people I watch are on Weight Watchers and they love Weight Watchers and they swear by Weight Watchers, which when I was on it, in the beginning, when I lost all my weight the first time, when I lost 90 pounds the first time, I was into it and like die hard and, and it still took a really, really long time, but I did it. Um, and then I just stopped. I stopped caring. I still went every week. I still got on the scale and I was still paying that money. Um, but I just didn't follow program. I didn't care. Uh, you know, I would try to, I would like binge eat half the week and then like starve half the week to try to get the number back down. Completely unhealthy. Completely. Um, so it's just, just the changes that you see, uh, you know, if you've been on a weight loss journey slash a diet, um, struggle like your whole life, then you... You can kind of look back and see what really went wrong. That was definitely, it definitely didn't work for me. Um, okay, so I'm ending the vlog and I'm going to bed. I'm not even going to watch the end. I don't think of 600 pound life. Yeah. I mean, it was a pretty good episode, but yeah. So ending the vlog, going to bed. And then tomorrow is my rest day, like I mentioned. And I am having dinner with one of my friends. And we're going to B-dubs, and I'm planning on a one of their chicken salads, grilled chicken salad. But I am going to have the sauce that I want. I'm going to have garlic parmesan sauce, and it's going to be amazing. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, other than that, that's all I got. I got way in in the morning. We'll have to see. We'll see what it's going to be. Um, no, I think it's going to be all right. Okay. So, ending the vlog, I will see you guys bright and early.